He's a big human being. He's so big. Size, strength, coordination, IQ. The goal for him is to get drafted. I can't wait to go out there and show the world that I'm ready for the NBA. The rim's 10 feet in the air, and, and Sim has over a nine foot standing reach. I've been tall my whole life. To me, it's just normal. He's seven, three and a half barefoot, which puts him right about seven foot five, which is what we list him at. Seven feet, five inches. I'm just out here getting ready for the draft, working on my game, getting in shape. Sim is really a one of a kind player. He's the biggest player I've, I've ever trained. My focus is 100% on the draft. There it is, good, bam. Okay, beautiful, way to read him. Ultimate goal is definitely to be, I guess be one of the pioneers in Indian basketball. I'll hopefully lead the way for a lot of, a lot of young uh, Indians growing up. At the end of my career, I definitely want to look back and, and know that I made an impact in the NBA and hopefully uh, basketball around the world. He's a phenomenal human being, great kid, comes from a really, really good family. I came in Canada December 1989 for better life, better school, better health care system, and safer living. I definitely feel like I represent India and Canada equally. I mean, I'm from Canada, but I still feel like I'm both. I mean, I grew up in an Indian household. My parents came over from India not too long ago. He was more than 11 pound when he was born. We knew he's going to be a big boy, and he was always taller than his classmate and his age group kids. My dad's about 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and my mom's 5'11", 6 feet. When he was young, he loved to eat just ketchup and bread. If I ask him, Sim, can I put cheese on top? No, mom, just ketchup and bread. <laughs> Seven feet, nine inches. An NBA team should draft me because I'm, I'm a big guy, I can clog the paint, I can, I can protect the rim, and I can rebound the ball. I think I'm ready right now, I can go in there and play right away, and uh, I think I can change the game in a big way. I think obviously a team that's committed to playing big men, the NBA obviously has teams that play up and down and fast, and teams that maybe slow it down and utilize size. We've been working on his conditioning, you know, there's only 24 second shot clock in the NBA, and he's going to have to get up and down. And the way the game is being played nowadays is it's very spread out. I lost about 17 pounds since I've been here in just a, just a month. I feel myself more comfortable on my body and moving around a lot easier. And I, I can definitely knock down the, the mid-range jump shot now consistently. Nice. When you're seven, five like he is, getting from spot to spot and being a mobile athlete is so much more difficult. You know he's got phenomenal basketball IQ. Never had any issues with him offensively or defensively forgetting plays or missing assignments and things like that. He's, he's a really smart kid and a really smart basketball player. He's going to give you an honest day's work. He's going to be a really fun guy to be around, and he's going to do everything that you ask him to do. If Sim become a first Indian player, it will be best moment for us, and it means us a lot. It means God give us son who is one of in billions. If I don't get drafted, hopefully I get picked up by a team and uh, go out to summer league and prove myself. I mean, I know I've got a long way to go, but I think I'm ready. What are you hoping to show the students in there today? I uh, just show them I'm in shape. I'm able to get, get up and down the court and bang with other bigs and just knock down shots. How did it feel working out in front of a team that you grew up idolizing and watching? Just being able to work out for them is just a blessing. I mean, as a kid, this is a dream that you want to happen, and it's a good thing that I'm out here. Do you see any parallels between you and Yao Ming, what he did for uh, a basketball tournament? Yeah, I mean, I think I could do that to, to basketball India. I mean, I really want to be a role model for the kids and open their eyes, know they can do anything they put their mind to. Given an opportunity, uh, I think I can make things happen with this team. And at the end of the day, being able to see my name on the back of an NBA jersey, that could be reality.